What's up guys, this is going to be a video on my gaming slash streaming setup. You might be wondering why I'm starting downstairs when my room is upstairs. Well, I figured you guys would find this to be pretty interesting. This is the router. This is, uh, this is the magic box that makes everything happen. This is a gigabit router. I've got a gigabit internet connection. And my internet speed is completely throttled by how fast my router is. So I went complete baller status and got like the Linksys beast mode or whatever the fuck it is. Uh, it was pretty damn expensive, but it's a sick router. I get a thousand down, a thousand up, and it's pretty fucking awesome. So, uh, it's, it's especially awesome considering this setup is super ghetto and it's probably gonna make a lot of you guys cringe, especially the, the ethernet cables. So, how did I get a 50 foot ethernet cable from here up there? Well, that is interesting. So, 50 foot ethernet cable, it's not long enough to go down, da -da 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 -da, up those stairs, back around, and into there. It's not long enough. And I didn't want to have an Ethernet cable running this way, through this room, where people can trip on it, out that window, and upstairs. So, whew, the only option was to have the Ethernet cable go this way, around, outside, that way, up the back around, and up to my room. So, what does that look like? Let's find out. So, I taped the, uh, the two Ethernet cables to the wall. So they'd hug the corner right there and not get caught when the door opens. So they go down, outside, around, this way, up, jump down, up, and there's my window right there. So definitely an interesting setup. These cables seem to hold up pretty well in the weather. They get rained on, they have the sun beating down on them all day, but they're not really any different. I mean, I guess, yeah, honestly, they're holding up pretty well. I don't know how long that's gonna last, but internet, con internet connection still rock solid, even as fucked up as this setup is. These cables are actually messed up. This one was actually fucked up before. Still holding up just fine. So that's, uh, you know, I'm sure that's not in the internet handbook with for how to have a rock solid connection, but it still works. And uh, that's all that matters. Oh my god, the cat. Hello! Kitty, 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 kitty! It's not my cat, but uh, cat's still cool. Anyway, so there's the router setup. It's ghetto, I know. So here we are at the command center slash mission control, whatever you want to call this. I spent a lot of time in this area, and it's a pretty elaborate setup. It's a little bit, it's very confusing even to me, and I know how it works because I set it up. So, uh, two PCs. As you can see, the two Ethernet cables from outside run into here. Both hook into these two PCs. I have both PCs hardwired in. My consoles are wireless. I don't take my console gaming super seriously. I, uh, I think that'll work out just fine. We'll see. I really don't want to have to run my consoles, have another Ethernet cable or switch because that's annoying. So, uh, both hardwired in right there. And the black PC, all this PC does is play, or all this does is stream. This is all this computer does. Uh, all this computer does is play the game. So I can crank up my stream settings on this PC and not affect my gameplay at all. So I can record in, you know, 60 FPS and stream in 60 FPS. As you can see right here, I'm previewing my stream in badass quality. It's at 151 FPS. Ba-boom. This is the, you know, this is what I play on. So when I move around, you see it right there. Technology is cool. So uh, <laughs> let's get into the more elaborate part of the setup. So this right here, so the uh, screen one, the HDMI goes in or goes out from this PC to get this image. So this image has to be split. So, boom, there's the HDMI from computer, from gaming computer. That has to be split into two. One is the monitor right here. The other is the streaming PC. HDMI in, goes into the streaming PC, wherever the fuck that is, and uh, gets put right there. Ba-boom. And the second monitor is easy. It's just put in, it's just, you know, hardwired in normally. This wire goes into gaming PC, you got two monitors. This monitor is hooked into this PC, so I can see what the fuck is going on on this PC. This mouse controls this right here, the gaming PC. This mouse 
This mouse right here controls the streaming PC. This keyboard controls the gaming PC. This keyboard controls the streaming. No, this keyboard controls the streaming PC. This keyboard controls the gaming PC. I don't really need a keyboard very often for the streaming PC because I pretty much just click on OBS and you know click on shit. So it's on the floor. Occasionally I need it, but not really. Uh, whoo! So where do I want to start off next? Got the cable management, blah, blah, blah. I need access to all of this shit. All of this shit I need access to, which is why it is like this, so I can easily get in and find the cables I need to. Oh, here we go. Whew. So, audio. Uh, this is where things get really fucking retarded. Getting audio from one PC to another in a high quality format is probably the biggest pain in the ass ever. So, let's get started. Uh, you need a mixer board. Uh, the audio out. I have a headphone out right there. That goes into... What does that go into? Audio out. Okay, so that, the audio, the headphone out goes into these two wires, which get hooked into the mixer board. The mixer board goes into the streaming PC. This is my mic. This mic. This mic is the audio for the streaming PC. And it's on a fancy little arm that I just recently bought, which is really fucking awesome. I should have bought one of those a long, 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 long time ago. So, you've got, ba-boom, audio from, did I just turn a knob? Oh my god, did I just turn a knob? I don't think I did. By the way, this is a pain in the ass to set up in terms of audio levels. Uh, anyway, so audio from gaming PC, audio, uh, mic. Mic input, audio input. That goes out this little USB wire thing into the streaming PC. And the streaming PC gets the audio. As you can see, I'm going to tap on this mic. Bloop, 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 bloop. And you see it going up and down. Fancy, I know. So, uh, <laughs> the audio is a pain in the ass to configure and set up and get right. But two PC setup is really awesome. I can record in super duper high quality and it's awesome. So, uh, two mics. This mic cord goes... Holy fucking shit. How do I get... Okay, so this... Okay. Okay, so the mic, <laughs> this mic, this is my streaming mic. This is the audio that, or this is the mic that OBS gets. So that has an XLR cable that goes into the arm of the mic. And down this and down that, and it goes out right here, and you know, whatever the fuck happens over there, and then goes into this board right here. This is my Blue Yeti. Now, you might be wondering, why didn't you split the audio from this mic into that PC and that PC? Well, I tried, but there was like some weird static and the, the mic quality was really bad when I did that on both ends. It was bad for OBS and for gaming PC, so I didn't do that. Two mics for two computers. Like, I, it sounds shitty. I got the fucking splitters and shit. Like, I'll show you. This goddamn thing? What the fuck? Uh, anyway, so uh, we got that set up. This mic is for the gaming PC and mumble and local recordings. So when you hear my voice on fraps, or if you're in mumble with me, you hear this mic. You hear this mic on the stream. Or this mic on the stream, this mic, and mumble, fraps, whatever. So, yeah, I think that actually might be it. Oh my goodness, um, okay, no, we're not done. Printer, because you have to have a printer and scanner, because fucking it's annoying, I know, but if you do anything with contracts, have fun. Uh, alright, so, why is there a wire running into your room? Well, when I turn all of this shit on, the, the, uh, the power to this room, like the power breaker, this stuff doesn't require as much power as you'd think. But when you turn it on for the first time, like when I turned on these two PCs for the first time, 
it requires a lot of power just to get them up and running, and then it's fine. So I run power from the hallway, which is on a different circuit breaker, into this room, into this, what the fuck are these, surge breaker? I've got two surge breakers, one right there, one right there. That one has an extension cord in there, and this one is hooked into that. And I've actually got a free, look at, dude, what the fuck is that? Is that an empty power socket? What the fuck? I thought those were extinct. So, uh, yeah, um, that's why that is like that. I think this is about it. Got my tablet, a.k.a. Wildstar Authenticator, because I don't use it for anything else. I'm sure I will use that in the future when I have to go see family and I can't have access to it. You know, I don't have a laptop or a smartphone or anything, so I need to have that. Um, two consoles, uh, fucking Tide, Bleach, Tostitos, Sun Chips, uh, I don't think there's any, my console setup is not that elaborate right now, I haven't been playing that many console games recently, so, yep, I think that's about it, I think that's about it, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and, uh, See you guys next time. I'm ha I had a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. This was super refreshing. I saw Hot Dog play Battlefield 4. Like, I, the little EA Origin thing popped up, like, two days ago. And it said, Original Hot Dog has logged into Battlefield 4. And I was like, you know what? That sounds pretty good right now. And, I, and I've never really 